Kristen, new information about our top story. Police have arrested two teenagers after gunfire outside a central Indiana high school basketball game. It happened in Lawrence after the rivalry matchup inside Lawrence Central. News 8's Amisha Ramsey joins us live now. What happened, Amisha? That's right. Well, good morning, Scott. We are learning that those two teens were involved in this Lawrence Central incident. We're learning that there was a 15-year-old and a 14-year-old. They're now in police custody, and they face charges per a police report. Now, the charges include possession of a gun on school property, resisting law enforcement, possession of a Glock switch for the 15-year-old, and theft of a firearm for the 14-year-old. Now, police responded to Lawrence Central around 920 last night, confirming two shots fired in the parking lot after a postgame fight. Now, police swiftly cleared the entire school. The shooters are unrelated to the schools so we are, when they were promptly arrested. There is a lot of planning that goes into these. We, uh, you, uh, you plan ahead of time, hoping you never have to do this, hoping you never have to stand here. But uh, that, all that said, we are very uh, cognizant of the fact that we're not talking about a larger tragedy. So uh, we'll, we'll focus on what was done well, what lessons can be learned, and while at the same time holding those accountable who are responsible for creating this chaos at a high school basketball game. We all know that that's, that's the biggest deal of the year in, uh, in, in, in any uh, municipality here in the state of Indiana is high school basketball. And people uh, have every right to expect they can come to the games and be safe, and they can. We'll ensure that. Presently outside of Lawrence Central, we have seen uh, police surveying in this area. Um, school is expected to, to go on today despite last night disruption. Now, according to uh, a spokesperson at the school, admin and counselors will be on site to support students who are in need of support. For now, we'll continue to stay monitoring on top of the situation. Just stay tuned with us online and also on air. Amisha Ramsey with CBUSD.com and like us on Facebook.